hello friends welcome to the my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to create a class library in qt also we can say how to create a dot dll file in qt and there is a one question about how to create a class library or dll file in c++ so let's simply create a dll file or class library click on create project select the library and in library section select the c++ library okay define your project or library name qt class library okay select your build system if you are using cmake then select the cmake i am using qmake so simply i select the qmake and click on next now here you have to write your class name or qt module if you are creating a simple library or using a qt core module or classes then simply select the qt core or if you are creating a gui based library then select the gui okay and select your library type if you are using sim if you want to create a simple library like just create the library and use in your application then select the shared library okay now click on next and again next now here you have to select your library type or uh, library uh, build system so just simply i'm click selecting the qt msvc 2015 64 bit okay now click on finish so you can see our header file and c++ file created okay and you can simply just add your header files like qt required header files like i i'm just simply add qt core module qt core okay here you can define the name or a template type okay or also if you want to add multiple modules like uh, widget modules multimedia modules location module positioning module or whatever qt module so just simply select change the minus to plus and add your modules like qt gui widgets and etc or also you can here the header files okay qt widgets okay or also you can add the QTGU. Now let's create the, our fun some functions in our library. So if you want to create a private function, so define your access level is private and create if some functions like uh, void uh, hello. or all if you want to create the some public function so just simply define the public access specifier and write the function like call me okay now let's define the function in our header file just simply print the message hello from class library okay now call your hello function in our public function or also you can write some other statement function is public okay let's create some more functions like integer arithmetic operations for call add function write argument integer a and integer b add one more function subtraction function integer take two argument let's add one more function multiplication function just simply copy the arguments 
or also you can add the division function now define the function in our cpp plus file cpp file or c plus plus file whatever you can say now just simply return the value of a plus b okay here change the operator a minus b here change the operator a multiplication b and here change the operator multiplication to division okay now let's build the our library but before the build just simply turn off this shadow build to save your dll or class library file in your project file okay now open the project directory and just simply build your application library so you can see debug folder was created and process is running build process is running wait for build so you can see our dll file was created successfully also there is a one pdb file object file and export library file so by this way you can easily create the class library in qt also you can say how to create the dll file or whatever you can say how to create dll file in qt so in next video i will show you how to use this library in our qt application so thanks for watching my video please drop your comment if you have any question about how to create the library and please like my video so share my video with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel and please press the bell icon to get the notification of next video and thanks for watching my video thank you